Hi, it's Peter again from Snow Sayre Portsmouth, and this is uh, another video just to highlight all the benefits of the digital dash that's now fitted as standard to the likes of Cooper Ateca and some of uh, Leon Cooper and a number of other of our high end models. But really, just to give you a, an idea of how the system can work, we're just going to run through some of the visual displays. So here we go, we're starting for the infotainment system that we have in the uh, middle of the dashboard. And as we come across into the display, you can see here that we've got uh, the uh, digital gauges, which are showing us everything from the, the digital rev counter that you can see on the left hand side to the speedo on the uh, uh, right hand side. Now directly at the top, you can see we've got a phone symbol there at the moment. And as I scroll through, what it's giving me is information in the center display there. Now, depending on what I want to be seeing, whether it be from my navigation to the audio system, could be the radio changes that I'm looking for, but I can also manipulate the view that I'm getting as well. So if I wanted to change the view, I could now have the audio covering the whole of that screen, but you can also see that it's still giving me the importance of the um, gear that I'm in, which is the P, and the zero there is for the speed on the right hand side. But I'm also still getting the information there relating to the temperature of the engine and also the fuel gauge on the right hand side. So as you can see at the moment, we've got the audio display uh, on there, but at this moment in time, I haven't selected audio. So if I now select audio, you can see I've now got the radio display showing, or it could well be that I, I want to see more information there. So as I scroll across, you can now see that I'm getting information feeding back into that bigger display there for any issues with the car and it's highlighting that I have low fuel. It could be that I also want to look at things like the lap timer or I want to use information in relation to um, starting the car. I can go into statistics if that's what I wanted to review and that's something that's part of the uh, Cupra functions. And I can also go on to information relating to the car. So here we've got the digital speed of the vehicle. It could be that I want to look at uh, road sign recognition. It could be that I'd want to look at my speed warning and so forth. So this is part of the multifunctional display that you get as part of that function. Now as I move across, I now get my um, information relating to how much fuel I've got in the tank and any other particular warnings that I might want to see. As I go on, We've now got the assistance systems. So here I can go in and I can just on my front assist or my lane assist. You can see here we've got blind spot monitoring. So this is where I can go in and physically change some of my assistance systems. Or it could be that what I want to be able to do is have the navigation displayed. And you can see here it covers the whole of the display that we see here. Now one of the features of Cupra is that when we actually have the navigation on, you see it's also on the, uh, the uh, main car display. Now on some models, it's not possible to have both. So for instance, on a Rona, it's been noted that you can't actually have the navigation here. Um, you can only have it on the digital screen here. And I'm doing this uh, whilst it's dark to really highlight the, uh, the visual impact of the, uh, the digital dashboard. As we carry on, we're back now to audio. And again, if I wanted to change the view, I can go into uh, the uh, external views. You can see either side there, no longer have we got gauges, we've got a different view again. And again, you can see here when I rev the engine, it's pulling up on the left-hand side there. And obviously I've got the speed on the right-hand side. Change the view one more time. And again, now I've got so something that's quite specific to Cupra which is the rev counter and it's central to the dash and you can see there that I've also got my speed being displayed in the middle. Now some of the other things that you can actually do uh, with the system is that through the uh, main vehicle displays I can change the view of the instrument cluster and that's something that we do over here on the main display. So in essence what we've done we've gone into car information we've gone into view and then we've gone into one of the features here which is instrument cluster. Now as we go into that it then allows us to change some of the internal uh, displays that we get 
on our main screen and you'll see here now that what it's showing us is the range at 35 and it's showing us the miles per gallon since we started and that again is shown here in this display and I can quite simply I can change it if that's what I want to do so if I want to change it up for a different one you can see here that's destination information and as I'm adjusting it it's also adjusting here so you can see here at this moment in time it's showing us a, a road signal uh, sign but as it says here you can see no signs available and that's because I'm stationary in the car park so quite simply you're able to adjust it accordingly you can see we've got some classic images there of the actual gauges and again as I change that up on here you'll be able to get an idea now of how that view changes so as we change the clusters you can see what happens is now the styling of the gauges is changing as to what information I get to see in the middle there so there you have it that is our um, digital dash and instrument cluster here with our main media display. I hope that's been advantage to you. And of course, if you wanted to see any more of this information, you can either contact us through our Facebook page or of course via our YouTube channel. Thank you and I hope you've enjoyed the video.